House Valus is cursed. There's no other thought to be had about it. From the moment the Black Lord, Aaron Valus, stepped foot in those accursed halls of Harren, there has been nothing but suffering for that family and their creed. Sickness, stress, battles, all of it leads to death. Lord Aaron always claims that he never believed in the curse, yet he lost his children to it, his wives to it, his own life to it. There are records I have found which tell of sacrifices that Aaron Valus himself performed, executing prisoners and settling their blood into the walls, forcing his prisoners to work into lame and dull to clear the rabble of that horrid place. I even begin to wonder if House Targaryen itself has become cursed, cursed by Harrenhal and the gods. Soon after the death of Lord Aaron the Black, there came Lord Aegor the Young. His reign, but one that could not be forgotten by history, to say the least. Taking the lordship at the age of only three years old, his reign would begin with confusion in the realm. A sickly queen, ward spreading across the Iron Isles, and death beseeching the reach. His own reign, however, would go down as a black spot on the history of Harrenhal. Inscribed within, is the story of how Agor the Young became Agor the Man. Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones. We are once more in charge of House Avalis. Lord Agor, this time, the seven year old lord. Uh, obviously House Valus went through a lot in recent years, either going from having no heirs, so I mean, have a bunch of heirs, uh, but specifically we have Aegor and Aaron here, of the Daemon, and uh, Rainer both died of stress at 23. Yes, losing Lord Aaron was uh, a surprise, honestly. Uh, even at 67, he seemed quite healthy, but life caught up with him, and now we are... Uh, Sitting back basically for 11 years and hoping everything goes calm. Yes, uh, Helia will be our spy, our uh, regent. It's my spy master, but they like me, so that's fine. I do need a septum. Yeah, right now the council's not fully in my favour, but hopefully some statecraft will fix that. What are we looking to make army wise? We're up to 6.1k. I feel like I've always chosen to put the prisoners to work every time. Oh, and he's ruthless like his father before him. Was his dad ruthless? He was one of them. He was cruel and rude. Not ruthless, though. So just cruel. I've, maybe he was ruthless when he was younger, but he lost a trait. Because I remember him having a trait like that. Because he had a Valyrian still, which should now be in our treasury. Yes, but obviously we cannot equip this into where we're an adult. It would be interesting to see if we have... Because these two are our own siblings, so... Well, the Sereni isn't. Oh no, neither of them are. They are of the, um... Commander Vaymond, who is a Westerosi Valyrian. But yeah, th this is the problem of if I want to keep pure blood, is that there aren't great options. I think Dala may be our best option here. Costs us a bit of prestige though, which we don't have any of, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll sit in the crowd and watch this tourney as well. <laughs> Why am I. What? It's like CK3 wars and wardens all over again. Just gonna steal money from me. Yes, I've been away for a little bit, talking about some, uh, some health problems, not my very minor ones, and uh, trying to deal with uh, university returning. But everything is sort of returning to normal now, at least. Yeah, I think Quick, I, I just, I love Quick, because that's 
you know, eight years old, we've got incredible stats already. How unfortunate. Excusez-moi. Or new war. Queen Rainies has gone to war with Old Wick. I guess trying to reunite the Iron Isles a bit then. And someone's raiding the Westlands. Okay, we're up to two uh, domains size now. So yeah, when we're an adult, we'll definitely have three. So I'm not going to give either of these away. Because these are very... Like Lolliston, for example, we've got nearly a thousand men and four hundred garrison. Here we have a one point six k garrison and one point six k men. Yes, because obviously we used to have these two, but once we got Butterwell, either way, losing and then regaining this province was the the weirdest thing I think I've had happen to me in the game. <laughs> that, that was a saga all of its own. Lord Hammond. We still need to get Shoreham in some way. I have no claim on it right yet. No claim. And I can't attack Simichar anyway. I would like to... <sighs> I think I need to perform Stickcraft for a bit. So I won't fabricate a claim until I'm an adult, I think. I'll wait, I'll wait until he's grown. But I do want to fabricate a claim on here. Because uh, if I could control all around uh, uh, the God's Eye, then that would be really, really good for me. Can't get the other faces itself, though. Guarantee somebody's made a... Colonizable Isle of Faces mod, which would be hilarious. I, I believe in this time period, nobody goes to the gods like basically at all. Um, I my my I've mentioned I think in basically the very first episode that my my knowledge of this uh, time period specifically is a bit more limited than it is with um, uh, the closer to throne sort of period. Who's Wendell? Is he important? No, Wendell, you're dead. Uh, especially, you know, the Thrones area itself. Also, a little bit of the, of the uh, Fire and Blood. I, I know most of the, the sequences within Fire and Blood. But uh, the thing with sort of post Aegon, I feel, is that once Aegon takes control, George just kind of skips forward a bit. <laughs> so. Reputation tarnished. Unbelievable. My reputation is incredible. How, how can my reputation be tarnished when I'm a literal child? Medgar Kiris attempted to imprison someone. That can only go well. Wow, all of their... They just spread through their family. I didn't even see that. That is... Wow. Lyman as well, who... Uh, had suspicious parentage alongside uh, Medgar. Both very suspicious parenting. Let's just say I think there's some blood between us more than just uh, Valyrian roots. He was slain by Samuel the Brute Tarly. Or Harris of the Reach. House Oakheart ruling the reach at the moment. Are the Terrells still around? Because they don't have High Garden, which I believe is their only province. I can't see them around at least, so I'll assume they are gone. Tarly's still going strong now. We've seen the reach has been in all sorts of state in this game so far. The, the reach in every game I've had actually, I think, has been in a sorry state. of crabs. Love that name. It's arguably the best thrones name. Just all of the crab stuff. Keldegar. Uh, crabs that are somewhere over here. Can't remember their name. Are we really doing this war here? It's against like what? One province? Is there anyone even on his side? And he's also at the same time it's just him versus Rainies. And at the same time, he's at war with uh, Lord Stef... Stef... What is that? Stefarian. Doesn't have Great Wick or anything, so we need to reconquer all these. Mm. 
Lord uh, Pelwyn of Aquas Richards declared war against the tyranny of Lord Medgar Silverhair. Interesting, a, tyr a tyranny war. Not many men, only about 4k men here. That's just a, that's me assuming that these ones are actually going to race to more. Much more than that. You wish to be the guardian of my brother Aaron. Okay. It seems like it would be a foolish thing to deny. Not that I'd have... Okay, game. I I didn't want to speak. I just, but I just knew this was going to happen. Is it because of the garrison amount? There's 900 garrison. It's an okay garrison. I'm going to assume he's going to get to... I'm not even going to raise my army. I'm going to trust that you're going to attack him. Right? Okay, yes, you are actually going to attack him. I was worried you were going to join up with this army. Yep, yeah, this that's over. Why do they need they need to stop sieging my lands? <laughs> you always want Septon Olsen to be the guardian of my sister. Okay. And right, now we can give her a focus. Um humility. Quite a logical one if you ask me. Oh The the twins have joined the War of Tyranny. I don't think that will that will turn it enough. Um, because House Malister is, I'm assuming, loyal. Yes. Okay, it seems like you're just playing micro diplomacy with my family. Then he picked a white piece. That's because the person died, but he's, he's he's. I know my all of my siblings are young, but it seems like he's personally deciding the fate of all my siblings here. Not great. Oh, new septum. The gods have lost their worldly avatar and then immediately picked a new one. Because they've been in this war a long time. What's, what's this specifically over? Oh, it was, it's Manfred's uh, claims to the reach. I assume he lost then. Yeah, and he got deposed. Yeah, he, he was immediately basically excommunicado. Oh, that's the wrong word. Ex ex executed. I, I guess I watched John Wick and apparently that word's been stuck in my head. Uh, yeah, he was executed and now Martin is the leader of House Hightower. Uh, does he, he he does still have a king, uh, claim on the Reach as well, so he, he could pursue that claim. With the Garth bloodline. Maybe one day we'll have a bloodline. Once uh, Harren Hall's restored, I'm sure that the Restorer of Harren Hall must be a, a bloodline title. Um, do you want to upgrade any of these? I'd love to upgrade these estates, actually. That's really good money. It's good to actually get some uh, slightly more peaceful times in for House of Aelis after the last couple episodes. <laughs> Most of it, some of it's spent, I guess we'll go, ooh, actually, brooding, or, no, I want to go with willful, but uh, it'll be good to actually get a, a break after a session spent fighting and fighting, and then another special, okay, all my siblings, I guess, and then uh, stressing over the family in the next <laughs> episode, so. Although last, last episode also had a bit of downtime, so again, we're... You know, this game, any second, everything could fall apart. And I'm almost expecting it to. But <laughs> I can also slightly remind myself up and see how we have Belmore. Yeah, House Belmore is in charge of... Ooh, mainly to idle. That's a decent trait, but it's an only May. You know, what's my intrigue? I could maybe do it with seven. I'm actually gonna, just going to take the intrigue, I think. Obviously, idolize would give plus and a bunch of different stuff, but. Rhaenyra Valerian. So, ride of my court, born to Joffrey and Daenerys Scales. Oh, th they immediately abandoned their uh, um, Valerian name by the looks of it. <gasps> oh my! Queen De uh, Rhaenyra the Dragoness of the Iron Throne at the age of 67. Same age as our 
uh, our father passed away at age 67 has passed away so now princess Jahira Targaryen shall rule the throne long live the queen oh she's 20 so she she has reached adulthood beforehand but again same as with her mother we are now in a succession crisis as it would be Daemon of Dragonstone of House Valerian who would inherit the Iron Throne next I saw a comment last time we had this this uh, succession crisis which would raise a very good point which is that essentially the actual claimant for the throne would, you know, if the Valerians take the throne, it's going to lead to a civil war. Simple as, it, there'll be a war. That's basically going to be the case regardless of who ends up on the throne. And the, the, the simple reasoning for it is just that this, you know, Aegon won just through dragons. And if the Targaryens don't have the throne, then it's up to who has the next big dragons. If the Targaryen bloodline is to die out completely. And that's why I was so interested in Valerian and, and hunting down where Valerian was. Although I believe he died uh, a couple of, either last session or the session before. But obviously, uh, you Lord Damon does not have a dragon, actually. I was about to say, obviously, he has a dragon, but he does not. Did the Celticars? No. Uh, okay, but Meraxus is, is still being ridden. Okay. I'll keep an eye out and look at where the dragons are right now. But um, the sort of idea that whoever has the biggest dragon should rule the Iron Throne is uh, an idea that's actually held uh, in the books by um, the the Dragon Seed, specifically um, Hugh the Hammer. Who I've mentioned a couple of times. Um, I really... It's on my mind, uh, perhaps after this one, after this campaign, to do a um, what's called the Dragon Seeds Challenge, where you you put Hugh on uh, Illyria and you try and restore all Valyria. I would love to just get the colonizable Valyria mod, just go wild and do all of that, and I think that'll be a really really fun time. But the general sort of thing his thought is he is riding the grandest, you know, most historical dragon. And as such, for him, it just makes sense that the dragon, the, you know, the Iron Throne should be his because of the, the rights that his dragon brings him. So he, he attempts to pursue that. So that's a very long and somewhat law-backed way of basically saying that. Whoever takes the throne, if it ain't a Targaryen, there's going to be some problems. And seeing the Valerians don't have a dragon, that is really interesting to me. Who knows? We could have dragon riders in our bloods. We could be uh, able to tame dragons ourselves. I believe it's somewhat in our thing, isn't it? Oh, we're at war. Never mind. Right. What's going on here? Um, the Iron Throne Civil War to lower Crown Authority, which I feel like she just did. Uh, we'll support the throne alongside our liege. Though, as a child, I don't think we'll raise... Um, has had before the dragons added to their treasury. Is that a book? It is. Before the dragons is a book written by, by Pentoshi uh, Gesori Haratis about the century of blood. The book states that Pentos of Lorath were not founded by Valerians, predating the Freehold's expansion instead. Love lore like that. Okay, this looks like it might be even. It is the Reach, which is... Why is the Reach ruled by another house now? Why is it House Peak? What are the Peaks doing here? Huh? I, uh, and his dad's a Dustinberry? Oh, because he married. He must have married a Peak. Goodness me. <laughs> this, this is something. This is really something. The instability of the Reach is hilarious to me, this game. Every time we look over at the Reach, there's somebody new ruling the Reach. I need to do a campaign in the Reach just so I can be the one who stabilizes this mess. <laughs> it's because in, in the game, because they have so many troops, they keep thinking, oh, we can go to Civil War, we can go to Civil War, we can go to Civil War. And every time they do, somebody new takes control and then has the same idea. So let's look at these numbers uh, like I intended to. So... It is uh, the Lord of the Reach and Westerlands against uh, the Lord of the Iron Throne, the Trident, the Vale, 
the Stormlands and Dawn. That yeah, should be should be overwhelming numbers there. Though these two uniting their armies in a war is a really interesting prospect for me in the idea of the books because I was in the books um, the the Reach and the Lannisters actually do basically unite their armies in the present period um, through the Tyrell Lannister marriage. Oh, sorry, the Tyrell. Totally, totally uh, not Lannisters, totally actually Baratheon marriages. Uh, but regardless of that, these two, uh, on paper, have the capabilities at least for the uh, the largest armies. So 31k and 35k. Because one has all of the land and one has all the wealth. Like, for comparison, you know, the numbers are close, but these two do have the largest armies. I think in the book, it's, it's completely like... Like, not even close. They just have the most by far. Okay. What's my education? For we, we will give myself the best education imaginable, obviously. And I'm going... To, I'm zealous because I follow the father. And immediately after being zealous, I'm going to kill a man, his wife, his children, and mix their blood into the water. So, really good way to show your devotion to the father. I think, looking at this, I think even martial or learning is what, like... I think martial makes sense. I think martial is what I've been sort of building myself up towards. So, And hey, somebody needs to build cobblestone. Oh my god, that is 11k troops on my border. Oh my, it's a lot more than 11... That is... 11... 20, that's 25,000 troops in these three provinces. You can see the Riverlands were going for them, and I'm like, nope. Hey, if, if these armies are too spread out, there could be a problem here. We have the, um, the, the Riverlands sieging down the Crownlands at the moment. But this, this could be a problem. Here comes the Baratheons. But, oh my god, they're going to get wiped. They are, they are... Goodness me. If I if I was an adult, I definitely would have joined this war and had some just move some troops around trying to get involved in battles. But um I I always sort of believe these games are a lot more fun if you actually act like you're in a regency. You know, if if you give the idea of being in a regency respect. Which I always like to do. So I'm I'm in a regency. I won't be making actions that you know my regent would oppose. And there is somewhat, you know, the game does somewhat prevent that, like, you can't change laws while you, unless your region approves that kind of thing. Which I agree with. I think that's definitely how it should be done. I feel like a lot of people have picked up uh, my talk about the Baratheon series and my talk with this series. When I talk about the Baratheon series, I talk a lot about lore and a lot about what I really enjoy with, with the lore and with Game of Thrones. Whereas with this game, I feel like more of what I talk about is how much I love the game. CK3... Taking steps in the right direction, but man, nothing can displace my love for this mod and just the, the roleplay potentials it gives you. What have we here? Jayla has done the unthinkable and drank a glass of wildfire and also turning herself into a dragon. She is adamant that the wildfire now coursing through her veins has given her power like none before her and has truly performed her minor body to that of a living, breathing dragon. How will this fare for the king? Nobody knows, but there's one thing for its turn. She is mad. Where does she live? So she lives in Tolos. Yeah, she's insane. She's alive though, apparently. That's the lunatic trait. Oh, I love that. I love that. It's the it's the exact same sigil as being a dragon or being a dragon rider, but it's just dragon in quotation marks. Of course you are a dragon, my lord. Nobody could ever doubt that. Learning fertility in Basil opinion. Oh. This, literally, while I'm talking about why I love the role playing in this game, it does one of those events. Come on, this one of a kind. This just one of a kind. Okay, no, I need a new Castilian apparently. Who are we gonna get? Um, we do not have a many great stewards. I guess I just have to go for uh, the Lolliston one. Looks like they're doing a bit of sieging at the moment in the Westerlands, but. This is very back and forth here. Theoretically, the, there are the numbers on the side of, of the Queen here, but with how sort of spread out these numbers are, 
these guys act fast, they can win. Master Joffrey of Nutton has bribed and threatened his way through my domain to get a claim on me. Now that's my somewhat problem is I don't have any bloody allies. Because I am... Uh, I, I think the term people use is a child. So there's not many people I can marry for alliances. Uh, do I want stables or barracks? Barracks will give me more. So with militia. Militia's cheaper. We'll go with militia. Again, we'll just I just want to build Harren Hall to be as great as it can be. And I don't know. I don't know if I've asked around and the kind of problem is there's no tech support for CK2. Oh, here we go. Winning some battles. Winning some battles here at the Army of Dawn. Alright, there's no tech support for CK2 <laughs> anymore. There's there's still people who like you know who will help you with efficiency CK3, but there's no tech support for CK2. So I don't know if me doing this has broken how the events work for the castle ruins. I hope not. I, I hope that we still have those events working normally and that we can um end up with with some pretty sick finished Harren Hall because this whole thing's about finishing Harren Hall, so I'd like to actually be able to fucking finish it, you know? But Yes, uh, the whole glitch of being able to actually have defences in these place is hilarious to me. <laughs> I, it's cost me a lot of money, but it work, yeah, work is slower by two. Ugh. But it's faster by seven, so I don't know how those overlap with each other, if it's actually only faster by 4.5, or if it's faster by five. You know, that difficult to say, I don't know how they interact with each other. What's up with... Why is House Blackwood so cursed? What is this? What is this? This is cursed. <laughs> okay, let's look at the war. It's like 78% in their favour. Yeah, they they have actually unified their armies now. And that should be Dunzo for the Westerlands. I don't know what's going to happen to uh, Lord Lancel here. He has... Wow, he has no siblings. Uh, no living siblings, no living children. So his heir is Davon Lannister, which looks like a cousin? No, it is his, like, uh... God, I have no clue. My, my brain's not working at full capacity on figuring out who's who at the moment. We'll do nothing for now. Uh, for my brother Aaron, let's get him on a diplomatic education. This is his very impressive work by the Queen. Betrothed can marry, then let's marry. And now my wife likes an education focus. I'd say stewardship, but she's haughty, so we'll go with diplomacy again. And my regent's paying us up again. Stop taking my money. We are 14, so soon we'll be coming of age. We can start our ambitions to have a son. Continue the House of Aelis line. Not at free domain size, though. I'm hoping when an adult that will change, but... I'm going to be the best ruler ever when I grow up. Ambitious. Wonderful trait. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful trait to get. I mean, just look at that. Plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. Plus two. Commander Owen of King's Pie. Oh no, I've died. <laughs> uh, which one's the King's Pie? Okay, it's, it's just one of these ones. Then we'll just create a new vessel. That's fine. I kind of do wish that um, when you do the create a vessel, you can do what you can do in CK3, where you can pick sort of the culture, where you can give it to um, either the local culture or your culture. Because I could do with more uh, Westerosi Valyrians. Within my court. He is now imprisoned. The Lord of the Westerlands. We'll have to see what happens to uh, Castle Rock then. I'm known as Young. Uh, <laughs> that's what happens to Castle Rock. The Lannisters have had their 
titles revoked. Same, well, I'd say this will end fun because the Greyjoys got back here, but the uh, Greyjoys have struggled to reclaim all the Iron Throne here, so. She gave it to the Valerians! So the Valerians, the Valerians of Casterly Rock. That is, that is a surprise. Well, I've, I've mentioned I want more Valer uh, Valerians around. Are they still Valerian culture? Or, yeah, High Valerian, even better. Well, the Valerians are getting back in power then. I assume she, she's of the mindset that she wants uh, loyalists uh, in power. And that's a really good way to get loyalists in power. Even if for some reason she's keeping the kingdom title to herself. I'm not sure the logic of keeping the uh, kingdom title there. But, go off, sis. Oh, excellent. Levy reinforcements up. I think they should all be full now. Ah, and prospering as well. Uh, my master arms we can focus on. You can get, just organize the army. Because I think everybody's uh, restored their levies now. Yeah, and collect taxes in my capital. Oh, this is interesting. We, The Lannisters are also now gone. We've lost... The race by man of Andal descent, and that is my. We're related, so yeah, my uh, cousin. Okay. Again, my math, my brain's not fully working. Oh, a commander. That's good. Okay, what do we want to build? We could build catapults, fort level. Yes, please. Get me that fort level up. Ah, oh, yes. And we... Be I'll tell you what. He, he really is a spitting image of his father. Look at that. Slightly different beard, but he, he is his father. Didn't get white hair, but we, I think we, we all knew he wasn't going to end up with white hair, unfortunately. Uh, and his, his mother did... His mother and his father did have... Uh... Oh, no, it was it was Asher who had him, so no, it wasn't white hair. She did have brown hair. But I, I tried, guys. I tried to keep white hair in the family. I could change his hair to white, but I think that's, you know... I think that's unfair on a roleplay. If we wanted to force for the purity of the blood, we would have done so. But there's no need to. Yes, my heir is still my brother, Eren. Who shall soon come of age himself? Well, we best get working on a on a baby then. I can't swear her yet because she's not an adult. It's uh, nowhere near his father's stats. His father, I mean, twenty five stewardship, forty marshal, but nothing to scoff at. Well, we'll look. That, we have a new lord of Westerns. We'll look at that in a sec. A new commander on the wall is a bracken on the wall. In this game, they've decided to actually give the Bracken some respect, unlike uh, George. <laughs> so the new laws of the Westlands is Krakel. Why? One of the weakest uh, lords here. Um, I guess I'll slightly question that decision there. The Valerians would make a much better... What was that? Oh, winter fever's broken out. Um, not good. Very not good. And now we also have the problem that we are an adult and I do still have... I'm still over the men's size. So we're going to have to give away Lonerson. I think he's nearly of age, so he's done all of his training anyway. It makes sense to give Lonerson to my um, brother. I didn't... Okay, thanks, game. Even though... He's removed from my council because I can't keep him on my council, but whatever. Make Giles. Ah, wonderful name, Lord Giles. I wonder if anyone else has ever used that. It's always like I can't seclude myself. Uh, I was hoping I could shut. Yeah, I can shut the gates. Ah, uh, but the thing with shutting the gates is it keeps you alive, but I don't want the cannibal events. We'll shut them for now. We'll open them when they're... Because right now it's literally right on Harrenhal. 
they, they seem to spread a little, uh, pass on a little fast, so we'll just keep it close for now. Okay, they are immediately at war. Is it for... It's a war of tyranny against Lord Podrick of the Westerlands. He's literally been in charge for two seconds. Who are you? No, you can get thrown out. You don't matter. Neither do you. Not going great for the Valerians right now by the looks of it. Oh, I... Oh, I can't select, can I, because... Oh, Westerosi characters can't need to focus. Yeah, sorry. Ooh! Okay, the, the events can continue. That is a huge one. We have lost a medium pile of debris, and now we're down to a small pile of debris. We're, we're nearing final stages here. Well, not, I've, I think there's actually more stages after this, but we are, we are working on clearing the debris in Harren Hall at the very, very least. Well, Queen Jahira, the evil, has been excommunicated. She does have a child, though. What? House tree? Because her... F Why did Jahira marry a bastard? So you married... A bastard called King Jorgen Waters you married. And you... It is a regular marriage. Why did Queen Rhaenys marry her only heir in a regular marriage to a bastard? Okay. I think this is a situation where I step in with a little save editing. Because that does not make much sense to me. Marrying a bastard especially doesn't make sense to me, but everything else... I mean, come on, guys. Give me a break or I can't let that happen. Not to mention I'm in debt now as well. Dear, oh dear. I'll tell you what, I was planning on making this a little extra long episode because of the uh, hiatus, so I will do so. But what I'll do is I will have a quick pause and I'll do a little bit of mending on the confusing state of the game right now. And, uh, yep, yeah, so I'll quickly change the stuff around and we'll be right back. Okay, I went around it in a very scuffed way. But, yes. Yeah, I have changed some things. That was very cool. I killed her husband. Oops. Uh... The fact there's a lowercase t on tree, I think, is the most triggering fact there for me. <laughs> um, and then I've made... Yeah, she's now a bastard. Uh, I felt that was more appropriate. Um, I know it's it's a bit unfair, as I was talking about how I like to stick with roleplay. But if House Baratheon's going to die, it's going to... House Baratheon, if House Lannister's going to die, it's going to happen. Because she doesn't have kids. Not because she matrilineally married a bastard. Like, come on, game. Uh, she was the legit. She could, at the age of one, legitimize Leona. So, that's an option for her as well. But right now, her heir is now. Yeah, it's back to being Dragonstone. Fair enough. Is this disease going to pass through? Ah. Wonderful. A knight. I love if the queen knighted me. That would give me even extra stuff. We're getting our cash back up. Obviously, we lost all of it when we cleared the uh, cleared up the debris. Because that takes 250 gold. Very expensive event. 10 combat skill. What are we losing? Question mark, question mark makes me lose 10. Is that a hidden trait or am I uh, stupid? I'm going to open the gates. Don't tell me I open the gates and immediately I die. Because I will be angry. I also don't think events that work that way, so I think this would have happened regardless. What on earth? What? 
Come on, don't tell me that this is the curse since it's hit me already. Give me a break. Oh, and also, don't tell me that her sister was... Yeah, her sister was purebred. Ugh. Uh... How old is he? I don't really want to marry Felina to him. Um, nor do I want to give him Butterwell. Why would Butterwell be the same as giving a wife? I'll just give him 20 gold. Even if it puts me further in debt. It's more logical than giving up Butterwell. <laughs> like, ah, wonderful. Game's crashed. Stop on that in a little while. And uh, for me, I had a wonderful route where... Because this is very obviously Winter Fever. Can't believe the second I opened the gates I got Winter Fever. Uh, I got cured of it, though. But I have a feeling that it's not going to happen this time. Because... Oh, what a surprise. It's Winter Fever. Who could have predicted that? I'm cured, but I'm a lunatic. I, I guess that's... A, it's better than dying. A lunatic? That'd be interesting. So I lose attraction opinion and vassal opinion. At least I don't think I'm a dragon like that other woman did. Uh, we'll see if I keep the name The Young at this point. <laughs> it's going to become The Mad soon enough. Still waiting to have a son though. Better get it on that lady, darling. Do you want to be my designated regent? Uh, yeah. I want to get you on my loyal side, especially if you're my Justicar. If I can keep my vassals loyal, then... Ooh, we'll be good. And now she has winter fever. Mm -hmm. I can praise him to the court. I can compensate him. I'll take the prestige. Thanks, mate. <laughs> he already saved me. You don't get extra praise for saving my... I think that was even half-sister. I wasn't sure if that was my sister or half-sister. Do I want to go off to a tourney right after being cured? Hey, I'm a lunatic. Let's go. Why not? Go swing cobblestone at some people. Okay, she did even... Okay, Sarah died. I mean, she's my sister. So sad. Uh, however, I don't think there would be any reason for me to... Imagine if I had praised the physician in this time, and now I'm like, oh, I did a wonderful job saving my sister, and then one week I come in and I'm like, my sister died. <laughs> I look so bad for the physician. I've got high taxes. The worst thing. Got someone else as a claim now. Okay, and you also now have one. Everybody's just fabricating claims on my titles now. Please spend time with me, comma, wife. <laughs> Imagine writing a letter saying, Dear wife, please spend time with me. Please. She remarried. Wow, she married and she decided to make it matrilineal. Everything's been fixed. Uh, ambassador from the Moon King. Come on, how can't I pick that option? Even more Marshall. This was a twenty-three Marshall. Maybe I should have studied stewardship, but I mean, my father—I didn't want to do stewardship every single time. My father was a steward, so. I want to do it a little bit different. And if I'm a, a lunatic, would make a great steward. Uh, now the Malices are in a civil war. They should win that one easy. So he gets one guy. What is even going on here? It's still this. It's I, this whole situation in the Westerlands is. It, it, are we sure she's not a lunatic? Oh, she is. <laughs> I knew she was evil. I didn't know she was a devil, but her being a lunatic was about to... I was about to make the joke. Are we sure she's not a lunatic making these guys in charge of uh, the Western set? But no, she actually is a lunatic. Uh, lunatic, ruthless, cruel, 
Torturer. Yeah, she's evil. <laughs> Excommunicated as well. And well, that is... Oh, I forgot about King Vader and Desiria old. That is something. Lunatics all over the place now, because we also got that woman who thinks she's a dragon. Ah, finally. My wife is pregnant. The realm will be happy to hear this. Hmm. Oh, that's what I was looking for. My, my sister Dana. I'm sure. I guess she's the best marshal. Go ahead. Uh, let's get you on. I can move you to fabricate claim now. Like I said, I wanted to. Um. Yeah, requires foot. And. Uh, I'll suppress the revolts in Harrenhal just because we have the uh, high taxes at the moment. So those should negate each other. Stop any revolutions. And I lost diplomacy. It's, this guy's just a full on learner, isn't he? This was another history book. The Legion of the Histories of the Great Houses of the Seven Kingdom, with descriptions of the many high lords and noble ladies and their children. Good book to have. I'd imagine most houses would have a book like that, though. I guess his one's very special. A fine hit, I must say. I have been declared the winner. A study. Oh dear, have I immediately lost? Ouch. Well, I won the first tilt. That is not embarrassing to, to make. You know, you won one, you lose one. That's the way the cookie crumbles. That's life in brackets. That's life. He sends his regards. Oh no, not Joffrey. She needs familiar faces around her. I want her to have the just beneath below me. Have the best uh, chance at uh, having a healthy child. So I, I, every two seconds I'm being invited to another tourney. Hmm. I can't use it right now. I have to let it go. I just can't get into more debt right now. I wasn't expecting to get it right away, to be fair. I figured the game would give me a little bit of time to earn like one dollar before I got the claim. Craven! Oh, come on. The game's doing all it can to make sure this character sucks. <laughs> like, no offense to him, buddy. Come on. Every time he gets one good stat, it's followed up by Craven. Ruth I mean, Rufus isn't actually that bad, is it? No, Rufus is okay, but. I'm not sure what causes the minus 10 he has to. Is it the curse of Harrenhal? I didn't think the curse would just show up as a question mark, question mark. And we go home from the tourney. Aegor is going to be... <laughs> this man is going to have a great legacy behind him, I can assure you of that. And he's also going to sacrifice more people on the bloody... I'm going to sacrifice everyone I can. Okay, so it is indeed a son, Monford. Can they after me? Well, can't they after his other grandfather, Aaron? Come on, game. I mean, I think... Being called Aaron's a good name. Oh, 
I didn't. I ignored the thing where it says he died. <laughs> this is this is how long I've been out of this. I just see Hibs thing, and I see the little symbol, but I didn't I don't realize the symbol meant uh, stillborn. So, oops. Uh, how are you good at anything? I don't need to feed you, and then he dies. I don't need to write a letter of trust or anything. I mean, she seems to like me now, so I'll just want to get that up to like 50 and then I'll move it. Yeah, having a stillborn is not a good sign. Do we, like, is the curse still in effect, even after all this time? I sincerely hope not. And it's a winter is come. As it was about to eventually happen. A student of strategy will be removed. And instead I will get martial and stewardship. What is student of strategy? Is it this one? I'll just give me plus one martial. Okay. So it's basically the same, but now I also get uh, martial. This is, I mean, this is a really good start to have the exceptional military ruler one. And it, it does basically explain, because obviously in, you, you'd assume high martial would be high prowess, or sorry, personal combat skill, Ooh. but obviously that isn't the case. And having this trait to make up for it does make it make sense. The exceptional military ruler. God, minus 20 from Craven. Very annoying. This was just about the worst one we could get. I mean, dead would be the worst one you could get. But you you know what I mean. Well, we're back in back in the black, back in positive money. How is this war still going on? I assume they're losing badly. It's only 18%. Oh, and is that a separate war? Or is this Have they joined the same war? It's a separate war. Casimir war for Tywin's claim. For oh, House Castamere has a claim on the Westerns that they're pushing. Wait, it's not their claim. I will give you a knighthood. Whose claim are you pushing? To press Tywin Lannister's claim. The Lannisters are being saved by the reins. That is, that is something, isn't it? Don't know where they would land the Lannisters, though. Because Castle Rock is has been given away. We do still have the Lannisters of Lannisport uh, over here. Okay, that's matrilineal, so, so they are all Lannisters. My private threatening fortune stop is I've met. Oh, it put me in debt again. Ah, it's a strong claim. I'm going to do it. A little bit of debt for a little bit of time. But at least I was in the green this time when uh, this one got pushed on me. Do, 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 do. Ah, I love the soundtrack. They're gonna be like, so could you uh tell me the, the history of uh the the reign of Lord Aegor? You go, Well, he was in debt, then it was in more debt, uh, and then he went insane. You want to arrange a patrol between yourself and my half sister. Go ahead, buddy. I'll happily take that. 
I mean, she's a bastard, but I guess she is... I'm trying to think of... She's strong. So, go ahead, buddy. Uh, let's keep talking, Master. It's the only thing I know how to talk. How on earth could she not be impressed by war talk, of all things? The most, uh, from what I hear, romantic thing to talk about is war talk. So, clearly she's just a fool. I'd be impressed by it. Whisper sweet nothings of war talk in my ear. Why, why do you want to kill this child? Why does my niece want to kill this child? But sure. Go ahead. Go kill that child, I guess. Says, I agree with your suggestion that the person I betrothed to should marry me. What a, what a neat suggestion you have there, friend. I had a minor crush there, which is part of the course in Crusader Kings at this point. Basically should be expected. This way. I, I, every 20 seconds, it feels like I'm, I'm worried the game's going to crash. This, this is, this, this is a mess. So, essentially, we saw that the Peaks are in charge of High Garden, uh, And that's because it was this guy, uh, Ormo the Warrior of the Reach, of House Peak, was the Lord of uh, the Peak. And then his daughter, uh, Tyrala, took over the Reach and died without any children. So instead, it went to... Uh, let's give you a favour. It went to his other daughter, Jarella, his firstborn daughter, Jarella, who had a child called Kyle. But he had this child with uh, Lord Oris of Storm's End. Which now means that the Reach is ruled by the child heir to the Stormlands. This is... This is something. This is really something. Not to mention that he has cancer, so he could die any day. There is a significant chance that the Reach and the Stormlands are about to unify. And I don't know how that's going to go. Well, this war's still going on. Um, with uh, Tywin Lannister trying to be restored here by the Reigns. Uh, who are currently winning. 32% uh, in their favour. So a good chance that the Lannisters will have the Westlands back soon. Uh, sure, I'll go to my brother's tourney in Lulliston. Obama Omega committed to much gold to his extravagant feast. In particular, I was impressed by a large centerpiece on the... Dice table. It's represented a green lawn surrounded with large peacock's feathers and green branches to which there were tight violets and other sweet smelling flowers. In the middle of this, uh, of this is a fortress with place covered with silver. The fortress was hollow and formed a sort of cage in which several live birds were shut up. On its tower, uh, the banners of House Cahiris were placed. Very impressive. Impressive indeed, Lord Medgar. Still doesn't like me though. Hopefully that will change. Is the uh, Greyjoy War over? Nope, they are still defending and they are probably going to lose. Oh, a squire? What's his name? Holder. I'll take Holder on as a squire. If I immediately lost. No, but I'm wounded. Wound, wound, wounded. Wounded game. I was wounded. Oh my. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well. Uh. <laughs> I don't even know what to make of that. Um, he'll, he'll be honored with a funeral. Um. I'll invite Harren Hall. That. Is, he will go down in, in history 
Almost certainly. I mean, how could he not go down in history for being... He was the ruler since he was seven. Lived in the Regency of Debt. And when the Regency of Debt was over, he kind of got wounded and died at attorney. <laughs> what a life to have lived. Um, I am going to... We got... We're married? Did I actually take over the second we got married? Okay. I was, I was going to try and divorce her and get her... Okay, she's 14 game. <laughs> I thought they couldn't get married until they was... Uh, couldn't um, have children until they were 16, but nope. Tyrannical Stain. My character's predecessors were known for disregarding the rights of their vessels. I assume this was you. Yes, you were a tyrant. So I, I'm stuck with the stain of my brother being a tyrant. Uh, but at least I am a pure-blooded Valyrian. Uh, now I, I have Lolliston back under my control again. Uh, still not a great province. How much tax do I make? I think I still earn more by having it myself than I would by giving it away. Because I think it honestly doesn't lower it by much. I know for a fact that I was earning less as my brother. Um, claim on Shoren. We'll let it go for now. I just don't have the money to support that. Yet. I'm known as the Just. I've not even had a second to do anything. Who's calling me the Just? What do I have? I don't even have the Just. Oh, I do have the. It's because you have the Just trait. There you go. Uh, let's use some diplomacy to keep my wife calm. So she's a Reachman. Doesn't look like a Reachman. Anyways, maybe the child will be born with white hair. Um. Let's equip. I, I I do have cobblestone equipped. Oh, I just that terrible a fighter. Yeah, I'm a terrible fighter. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Both brothers have been craven so far, so this is. <laughs> it is a very Curse of Harren Hall thing. How my brother died. Just slightly wounded at the turning, and it's like, it's just a wound, and then he's <laughs> two seconds later, not even a day later, he's dead. He's like, I'll be fine. And then they're like, I'm sorry, we had to carry his body out of here. Why Why is Castle Ruin like that now? Why is it down there? That's weird. Could build a dragon pit. Maybe I should save up to get a dragon pit. And then, like, use that as justification for going off and go capture myself a bloody dragon. Oh, I guess this is the... The thing with a slightly longer episode as we've gone through. I was I was expecting to be the twenty year old Lord Aegor right now, but clearly not. I don't know if he was already in low health, but I don't think he was. I think the wounding was the only thing he had. Okay, is this one actually not still well? Yes, this one's alive. Okay. Let's name him I mean I'm Aaron the <laughs> second. Let's have a look for a couple of random names. Uh, let's go with Eamon, actually. I like Eamon. Uh, he is sickly, club-footed, and weak. And do you reverse any of those traits? No. I wonder if the curse is... I don't know. This feels like the more I've tried to cure the curse of this place, the worse it's gotten. This poor kid. So he, he's been born in the worst possible states. Like... Pfft. Barely any health to be born with. One illness is going to kill this kid, unfortunately. Um, my niece wants someone nice. I'll find her someone nice. I won't. <laughs> when the event comes around, I'll just let her marry who she wants. I don't especially care. Yeah, poor kid. I, really, I feel very bad for him. Yes, House Valus is, is the definition of cursed. I'm to fort level 20 now, though. Very impressive. 
How are things going at King's Landing? What is... What is Night Moon? Why is she, why is she of House Night Moon? What? Why do you keep getting regular marriages? Why do you keep getting regular marriages and hurting my brain and preventing the succession of House Targaryen? Why why does this game hate me so much? I was singing your praises earlier, and then I've got to deal with this now. So House Targaryen is going to die, because Daenora Nightmoon is the heir to the throne. Why is she a Nightmoon? Why did you get married regularly? You're the queen! You're getting married to... The... I guess he's a Baratheon, but he, he was literally like the 12th in line of these Baratheons. He's the youngest one? Although, actually, no, the one he's a child of is the second husband, right? A, a bastard? No, not a bastard. A knight. A random knight. Uh. Ad yeah, you can get married to Adam. I don't care. I care so much about you, dear niece. That's why I got you married to someone I literally don't know who he is. Um, compensate the farmer, or upset the farmers. I'll just compensate the farmers. I don't want to get them angry again. Who are the Brackens at war with? They are at war with, uh, they're at war for Haraway's town. Interesting. Brackens expanding their influence a bit. Well... I did mention he was a bit sickly. <laughs> what? Okay, we're, we're paying for some roads, apparently. Well, I, I mentioned that the, the poor kid was, was very sickly, and that's... I think that's probably the perfect example of it. Okay, it seems like this is the first time I'm playing a world who actually seems to be quite liked. Which I will happily... I will happily take being liked. At least all of my uh, my vassals seem to like me. Okay, so he died a sickly infant. So once more that makes Dana my heir. I think I should look for a match for a little match for you then. Um, got Justin because he's Valyrian. Could be married into the court of Kahiris. Um. I think it's between these two. He's younger, and he's better, but he's not Valyrian. I still think that this should be the match we're going to go for. Oh, a queen? I have to go to a queen's tourney, even though I absolutely suck at fighting. Yeah, I'm terrible at fighting. I'll win next time. No, you won't. Unless you stop being craven and stop being cursed. God, just losing prestige over and over again. Can I, like, seek out something to fight? Help me learn how to fight? No. A new dragon has entered the world. King Kyle Baratheon. Has hatched a weak and sickly dragon. Let's name that she dragon Aatrox. I'm glad. I'm glad something's happening in King's Landing that makes sense. Okay, even though the dragon isn't, sh the dragon isn't showing up in his thing, so that's whatever. How's your dragon doing? How's Maraxes? Oh, do they have dragons? No. Daynora Night Moon. Why can't you just get married? I swear, I swear this one was a matrilineal marriage. I literally opened it up and it said matrilineal. Or am I just dumb? Well, I can go watch the melee in Winterfell. That'll be fun. Bracken's getting bigger and bigger now. 
Weak armies at the moment, though. And he's trying to kill Calera Blackwood. Who is that? Are they a close relative? It just seems like they are. Right? Oh, it's sp wait, it's your father who's the... I knew who was a bracken at the Lord Commander, but specifically it's the, his father. Interesting. Only 44 years old as well. I wonder if he was forced to the wall. Or if he went to the wall by choice. That'd be an interesting question. This war is still going on. So he is still losing... Uh, okay, he's soon to beat the Valerians at least. But he is most likely going to completely fall apart uh, by the Castamere war here. Yes, I will happily be your counsellor. I'm actually good at that, surprisingly. Oh, and I fulfilled an ambition. Wonderful. Uh, I would love to have an ambition to have a son. Oh, but obtaining a dragon egg would be so funny. <laughs> like, like, I mean, oh, it's hard not to resist that as an option. I don't think I have the funding or the means to get a dragon. Hmm. I think I'm actually trying to improve the combat ability. Try and get trained. I think, hope the sun will happen naturally. Does she like me? She loves me, so hopefully it will happen naturally. I'll ask him politely. That's beneath me. If 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 it's ever an option to not go, I won't go. That one's also beneath me. Um, I don't want to spend any gold. Um, honestly, it may not be, you know, the the true house of the Vale. The Arons may be long gone, but at least they're actually back in the Erie rather than this one random province here. And it's it's a lord, it's a Lord Robin as well, so it's at least an expectant name. You want council support? No. Well, you wait, you're a council member? That's ah, true nepotism, just putting his wife on the council. I, I forgot. It's, so Vermin has now taken over Dragonstone here after their father died. His wife is incapable or non human. Which one is it? Oh, gonorrhea has made her incapable, apparently. Unless, is it another one of these? I oh, don't know, it's just because she's bedridden. Okay. I didn't realize, I, I was, was going to be like, I didn't realize gonorrhea had that as a trait. Just the second you get it, just... <clears throat> Literally. Uh, let's get the fort level up. It looks like we are coming on the end of the year. Indeed we are. So we will actually pause it there. We will end it there for today. Uh, this was a very interesting one. With a couple of crashes. Don't know what the hell happened with uh, Lord Aegor here. He just had a very interesting life. A very mad, insane life. Uh, and two dead children... At the age of zero in one episode as well. So the curse is still alive and kicking. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I certainly have. And I do hope to see you guys again next week. Please, please do leave a comment if you enjoyed. It's always good to read uh, all of your thoughts on the series. And anything you think could help improve it. With that said, I will see you guys next time. Until then.